So here's our mini pallet set up, just, just setting it every, getting everything set up where it needs to be, right parallels and that kind of stuff. But I think what we need to go ahead and do first before we start milling this, we need to go ahead and deck this or fly cut it, mill it, whatever, so that we've got a nice flat surface there. This is extruded. It could be a little bit bowed in the middle. It could be high on the sides or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and take that off there and figure out what kind of cutter I want to use, and we'll go ahead and flatten this out. I think I'm going to give this cutter right here a try. This is a negative rake insert, CNMG 431s. So it's not an exact insert for aluminum, but we're going to give it a shot and see how it does. We got we got good corners on there, and I'll probably use some aluminum cutting fluid there to try to help it. So I also like a tube that it's wide, so we'll be able to take a nice big wide cut with that. You can see right there, right there on the very end of the travel too, it's a little snug right there. Right there is a good example, it's cutting, it's got a low spot right there. So I'm going to try 5 thousandths, we're going to, I'm spinning that fast, we've got it at 1750. I'm going to move it up 5 thousandths and let's see, let's see what she does. Let me uh, put just a little bit of that on there. Looks like five might cut it. All right, John, I'm coming after you on surface finish, man. And look at that, negative rake insert. <laughs> Not too bad. So what I'll do is just go ahead and step it over yeah, it's leaving, um, I don't know if that's going to work. It's leaving little fuzzies. It, just because of the, the geometry of the insert, it's leaving little fuzzies right there. It's The chips are coming around and rubbing on it. It might work. I don't know, though. Let me dig around and see if I might have something a little more suited for this. i tell you what, guys. It's... I'm just going to go with it, and when I'm done, I'm just going to lightly rub this with a file or something and try to get those fuzzies off. It's getting late. I've got a ton of stuff to get done. I'm trying to rush through this and get this job done for Cody so that I can move on and get some of my other things done. I found this one right here, but the inserts need to be changed out. It's not that wide of a cut, so I have to make a few across there. I'll just go back to that one another time. Let's just go ahead and step it over and finish off what we were doing right here. Go ahead and do that right there. I'll try a little bit more of the, the aluminum fluid here. I am pretty happy with the results other than the little fuzz that's tried to stick as the tools come around, but I think we can get by with that. It is nice and flat. That's what I'm happy about. I've got the mill trammed in good. It hasn't moved since I've done it. I don't feel any steps there in the transition of the cut there. So I'm just going to try to get this uh, dusted off and we'll go ahead and move on with the work. So we got them set in there and what I've done is take a square butt and a scale just try to make them all even with each other like so make everything nice and square and symmetrical 
and we're going to go ahead and pull them down. All right, I think that's plenty right there. So we'll probably use a nice sharp end mill to cut these, uh, less chance of trying to push it out of there from underneath the clamp. So I'm using a, a three flute, three quarter inch high helix end mill. Those work really good for aluminum. And we're a total of 392 thick or uh, 10 millimeter. So we'll take it down to 0.196 thick. Not real critical. He said just get, just make it about half of what it is now. Seeing what I'm seeing what I see here. Now those things may not be all flat. Looks like we might get a little bit of chatter because I don't think they're completely flat. Let's see what 50,000 does, how it reacts. We're gonna, I'm just gonna step it over, go back the other way. Fitting. All right, that's three cuts at uh, fifty thousandths a cut. So we're going to go ahead and get us a measurement here using the Slocum digital mic two sixty seven no that ain't right I think I was measuring down in that hole there we go two forty okay so that's forty we want one ninety six that's forty four thousandths left to go Mike says 197. So we're close enough. We'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and break this down, clean it good, and I'm gonna flip them around and just repeat on the other side. Alright, we got everything cleaned off. I'm using my hand to make sure that all the dust is off of them. Need to do that with these two. Just get all those chips off the bottom.
Okay, more of the same. I'm going to go ahead and drop this thing down. 196. Let's see if we touch off there. That's our zero. I think we're going to be pretty, pretty well spot on there. Looks like I can do the other side in two passes now since I went over halfway on the first side. So we're going to go ahead and take our last cut, go ahead and get a measurement here. Okay, 240, looks like almost 241, so we're about right at where we were before. So that was 44 thousandths. Let me back off about a half. right where it needed to be really. That's it. I think we blended in perfectly there on that that other cut. It says 198. I think we were at 197 on the other side. One ninety-eight. That looks good though. I'm rubbing that that transition. You can't even feel it. So we're gonna leave it right there. I'm gonna take them out of there. Gonna do some deburr in here. By the way, I got the I've been running a fume extractor to help exhaust that smoke from the cutting oil. That's another good reason to have that thing in here. Got that little sharp rolled edge from the milling. This is that Scotch Bright wheel that you can use for deburring, and it's doing an awesome job on it. Sure beats the heck out of trying to file that that edge, all those contours makes it a little difficult. That's treating it right up. All right, we got this job done. We got our flanges milled. I'm just wiping what's left of the, the oil off of them. They'll need to be cleaned with some solvent. All right, flange is done. And we got our, our four stainless rings. They're done too. All right. This job's done. 
We'll see you on the next one.